training dogs can be a pain in the neck where else did you think? Especially if it is a puppy. However it is best to invest your training time in a puppy because as it grows and learns to understand its environment, it will make a better pet than the grown up dog that you just bought for puppy training, you may have to run around a bit more, but the effort when capitalizes, will be worth the pain. Here are some dog training tips, which when followed are sure to make the owner and the pet comfortable with each other. Even dogs need to learn the importance of time. Considering the fact that you'll not have the entire day to devote to your dog only, you must train it to follow your time. This is best achieved when the training starts on a puppy. However with elder dogs this can be a bit difficult as they might have been conditioned to a different time pattern earlier. Therefore, make sure to ask the pet shop about the pattern it is habituated with. You will only thank yourself when you finally accomplish this tough task. Allowing your dog to munch on too much food can make it ill or even lazy and this happens many times. When training a puppy, make sure that you do not give him too much diet as these are its formative years and you wouldn't want the puppy to grow up and eat enormously. Also there are certain groups of food that may even make your dog's nervous system a bit too active and therefore it will be difficult for you to rein your dog. However much you love your dog, you should not overfeed it out of love. For dogs to ideally perform their duties and stay alert, exercise is an important part of dog training. When you want your dog to follow your orders, you will have to train it accordingly and exercise forms an integral part of the regime. With exercise, the dog will learn to burn its calories in useful pursuits and eventually become disciplined. An unclean stomach is an indication of problems ranging from lack of rest sleep to even serious infections that may arise. Dogs are not accustomed to use the toilet and hence they have to be toilet trained time and environment based. It should be clear made obvious to the dog that it cannot poop wherever it wants to and that it should hint when it wants to go out and poop. Adequate rest after all your training regime and giving the dog some leisure time of its own will ensure the fact that it stays active and alert for most of the time and is available at your beck and call. For more information visit our website today.